Test to everyone. Today in this class, we are going to learn about class seven geography, chapter number seven. And the name of the chapter is human environment. So uh, we have a natural environment and human envi environment. We have two types of environment. But here we are going to learn about the human environment. So from human environment. In this chapter, we have three main topics that we are going to learn. The first one is human settlement. Next one is we are going to learn about the transport. And the third topic is communication. So in this class, we are going to learn about the part one. That means we are going to learn about the uh, settlement, human settlement. So early human. So early human beings are dependent entirely so here entirely means completely dependent uh, on their environment for food clothes and shelter so here this picture is a early human life or early human society picture shows the early life of early human beings so early human beings they are totally dependent on their physical environment on their local environment for food for food, for clothes, and for shelters. For shelter means we can say houses, homes, because during that time, uh, they have a very, they are using very simple tools uh, for uh, technological development. Because of that, they are living a very simple life. That means they are totally dependent on environment, what they want to eat, what they want to wear, and what what type of houses they want to build. They are totally dependent on the physical environment because of uh, the uh, low level of technological development or they are using very, very simple tools. So that means early human beings, they are totally dependent on the environment for food, clothes and shelter. So later on, in order to grow food, in order to build houses or homes and in order to develop better means of transport and communications human beings have modified so changed so here changed the environment so this is the natural environment so later on in order to grow food in order to build the house and to develop better means of transport and communication human beings have modified the natural environment into human environment so this is human environment or the cultural environment so this modification comes because of what modification changes in the environment is mainly because of in order to build houses in order to make better transport and communication facilities so because of that because of that uh, Human beings have modified the environment by using better tools and technologies. So the part one that we are going to learn in this class is settlement. So settlements are place, places where people build their homes. So these are the different places. Place one, place two, place three, place four, place five. So settlements are the Settlements are the places where people build their homes. So if we talk about this picture, picture one, two, three, four, and five. So we have to check in this picture, we have uh, houses. People have built homes. This is a settlement. Again, here, this place, people built houses or homes. Again, third picture also, we have houses fourth picture we also have houses so these are the human settlement because on these places people have made homes and houses for themselves so these are the human settlements so if you talk about the uh, fifth picture here we don't see any uh, houses on this particular land so or place so that shows this is not a human settlement so settlement means uh, settlements are the places where people build their homes. So all these are the human settlement except this one. This is not a human settlement because we, here we don't see any houses or homes for women. Earlier, 
So during olden days, human beings live on the trees. So, so during olden days, people live on the trees by building this type of shelters. They live in uh, ca uh, caves. So this is a caves. So after that, when people uh, started cultivation of crops, where crops are grown by them, then people know how to cultivate the crops and the domestication of animals. The settlement grew near the river valleys as water was easily available and land was fertile. So during early days, early human beings, they are living on trees, living in the caves in order to avoid themselves from wild animals and in order to save them from uh, adverse climatic conditions or bad climatic conditions, rainy seasons, uh, our, uh, they, in order to avoid themselves from the rain and snows and uh, avoid themselves from the wild animals. Uh, early people are living in these shelters uh, on the trees and in the caves. But later on, when people started cultivation of crops, people settled near the river valleys. So here we have one river. So this is the valley, river, valley, plain, small plain area. So later on, people settled near river valleys. So this type of places where there is a river and we have a plain area. People started living in these places. Why means because in these places we have uh, water is easily available. So in order to cultivate the crops, we need water for the cultivation of crops. In order to grow the crops, we need water. And if you talk about the soil in this plain area, we have more fertile soil. So fertile soil means those soil which are capable, capable for growing better crops. So fertile, opposite to fertile is infertile. So fertile means those area which we can, where we can grow our crops. So these are the fertile plains. So later on, so early human being, they are living on uh, the trees and in the caves. But later on, they started staying, uh, settled near the river valleys. Because uh, in river valleys, we have a fertile soil and water is easily available from the rivers. So this is the changes of human settlement from time to time. So settlement can be permanent or temporarily. So in some places, people build their homes and they are staying for very long time, sometimes lifetimes. They are stay, staying on the particular place by building their homes. But in some places, people are not staying permanently. They are staying temporarily for three to five years or more uh, or maximum seven years. After that, they are moving to another places. So settlement, we have again two types. Some settlements are permanent and some settlements are temporarily settlement. So settlement which are occupied for short time, short period of time. So those settlements where people are staying three to five years or seven years are called temporarily settlement. So people live in hot and cold desert. Hot desert, if you talk about the hot desert means the, Indian, the Great Indian Desert. Another name for Great Indian Desert is the Rajasthan Desert or the Thar Desert. We have Sahara Desert. We have Gobi Desert. So in people living in hot desert, so these are the hot desert. Cold desert means we can say North Pole and South Pole, Antarctica and Arctic. So in these places and in the mountainous mountain plain, uh, mountain areas, mountain area. If you talk about in India, we have Himalayan mountains. Uh, often people live in People dwell in temporary, so mostly in these regions, regions such as hot desert regions, cold desert region, and mountainous regions, people are not uh, living permanently. Mostly, uh, some section of people they are uh, staying in these particular places for a temporary purposes. So the mostly where we can find temporary type of settlement means we can find in hot and cold desert and mountainous region. We have more number of temporary type of settlement. Their practice, so in these regions, what what type of human activities that they are doing? People, what activities there, what works there people are doing means people are practicing hunting. So this is hunting, hunting of animals with help of bows and arrows, hunting of animals and gathering along with hunting. So here there people are hunting the animals in order to get the meat. Along with hunting, they are gathering the fruit and nuts. From the underground 
and the, they are practicing hunting and gathering again this one is shifting cultivation so shifting cultivation means in some places people are uh, doing agriculture so it is the type of agricultural practices where people are staying in this particular agricultural land uh, three to five years so first thing is they will make our agricultural land so first thing is they will slash slash means they will cut the trees and grasses on that particular patches of land after that they will cultivate the crops on this particular land so they will cultivate in on this particular land maximum uh, number of year is between three to five years they will cultivate or and they will stay stay near to this agricultural land they will cultivate crops um, maximum number of year is three to five years so after that uh, when the fertility of the soil is declined they will move to another place again they will do slash and burn and they will cultivate crops and they will again after four to after three to five years they will move to another places so that means they are always shifting from uh, one place to another place in order to cultivate the uh, uh, in order to cultivate the crop so these type of cultivation of crop so mostly this one is in india this one is very famous in north india northeastern india name of this uh, community is called chuming so this uh, shifting cultivation in northeastern india is called chuming so this cultivation shifting cultivation that means cultivation is uh, this type of cultivation they are shifting one agricultural land from uh, they're staying on three to five years after that they will move to another agricultural land so this is again a shifting not a permanent type of settlement they are always moving from one place to another place every three to five years so they are these type of again hunting and gathering people they are not set settled on permanent place they are always moving from one place to another place in search of uh, food and clothes for themselves and the third one is image transhuman so transhuman means life of gaddi so this is a gaddi people in uh, himalayan regions so in these gaddi peoples they are not settled on a permanent places permanent place so they, this is gaddi so transhuman means these people they are moving always from one place to another places mostly on a seasonal basis so if you talk about transhuman of life of gaddi so during summer season they will move up to up to the mountainous regions up to the mountainous region in order to get better grass and water for the sheep and livestock and during winter season they will move down to the plain area in order to get better grass and water for their animals so these seasonal movement of uh, herder means gadi these two are the herder along with their animals are called transhuman so in permanent settlement people build homes to live in permanently so these are these pictures shows the permanent type of settlement so these type of houses are built on these places so in here these people are living on this particular places a lifetime they are staying lifetime in these places sometimes from one generation to another generation they are staying for a very long time permanently stay as people are st settled on these places so they are not moving from one place to another place for uh, between 10 to 5 years they are always staying in these places for a lifetime from one generation to another generation so these type of settlements are called permanent women settlement so next uh, classification of human settlement is based on place of residence people can be settlement can be divided into two rural settlement and urban settlement so rural means we can say villages right now our school is in the village right uh, rural settlement and we have urban settlement urban settlement means we can say towns and cities that means delhi mumbai kolkata all these are the urban settlement so based on the place of residence we can distinguish the human settlement into two rural and urban settlement so rural settlement can be compact and or are scattered so here we have two picture this one this type of rural settlement is called compact type of rural settlement why means here compact in terms of the houses are very compact houses are very very close to each other because of that these type of rural settlements are called as compact type of settlement why means or cluster type of settlement why means because these houses are very close to each other houses are very 
clustered or houses are very compact to one another because of that these type of rural settlements are called uh, this one uh, compact type of rural settlement next one is scattered so if we look compare between the first image with second image so here here the houses are not close to each other near to each other one house here one house here one house here one house so that distance between the houses are far away from each other very not close to one another so these type of uh, rural settlements are called scattered or dispersed type of rural settlement so settlement can be urban that means towns and cities rural that means villages so settlement based on place of residence we can classify the human settlement into two urban rural and again rural settlement it has two types compact and dispersed so compact and dispersed mainly uh, differentiates based on the interhouse distance distance between uh, the houses so a compact type of settlement is built uh, closely built uh, area of settlement so mostly this type of compact type of settlements are built near to the river valleys or plain areas so mostly we, the with this type of rural settlement mostly we can find in the plain areas in scattered type of human settlement dwelling are spaces so houses are residences are spaces over an extensive large area so houses are built on a large area here this one house one houses one houses so in an extensive area large area this type of settlement is usually so where we can find this type of settlement scattered type of settlement houses are not close to each other where we can find means mostly in the hilly area if you talk about in india in himalayan regions in the thick forest regions where there is a lot of trees regions we can find these type of scattered type of rural settlement so if you look at these uh, rural settlements so mostly we have agricultural land so most of people in rural people are so since our school is located uh, in the rural settlement in the village that shows in most of our school surrounding are uh, we have surroundings we have a lot of agriculture and people are doing agricultural activities so that means most of rural people they are engaged with agricultural type of activities so uh, people in the rural area are practicing agricultural uh, activities so uh, so how we can distinguish between rural and urban settlement how we can distinguish how we can classify how we can differentiate means mostly there is no universal criterion in order to distinguish or in order to compare between rural and urban settlement but generally most of the country they are using based on activity they are classifying rural and urban settlement so mostly rural settlements of the world they are doing agricultural related activities such as cultivation of crops rearing and grazing of animals in contrast to that in urban areas people are mostly engaged people are mostly doing service related activities so rural people mostly engage with agriculture in urban people mostly they are engaged with service related activities activities like telecommunication services like we have banking services like doctor and nurses so so these are the uh, differences that we can classify the uh, differences between rural and urban settlement based on human activities rural people mostly engaged with uh, primary type of activities mostly agriculture and domestication of animal but urban people they are engaged with secondary and mostly tertiary that means service related activities and the thick uh, next one is thick mud so this is mud mud means a soil and that has a lot of water content that is called mud houses thick mud houses with thatches on roof so thick mud houses so this is the mud houses this is a mud houses so these are the images of mud houses so thick mud houses and thatches means straw on the roof so this is straw thatches on the roof are the common in hot type of climate so mostly if we go to the this one desert region we can find this type of uh, houses so mostly they are using local raw materials such as muds and thatches in order to construct a uh, houses so they are using local raw material other than these two they are using local raw material like such as sands they are using stones we know stones right and we can say mud so mud we have more water on the soil clay this is clay we have less water but this one is more soft one 
clay are used to construct the houses so in uh, this one hot climatic region people are using these materials uh, they are using these materials in order to make houses or in order to construct the houses so this is about the human settlement part one thank you